This video will show you how to make this simple electric motor. This is a little electric motor that I built today. It's very simple. We have here a rotor. It has a coil at one of its ends. And here I have a counterweight to maintain the balance. The rotor is mounted on an axis. And here we have a neodymium magnet. Let me now connect it to a battery and later I will explain how it works. Let me explain how this motor works. The battery is connected to this point and to the neodymium magnets. The magnet and the material of this axis are conductors. The electricity flows from here to this other axis of the rotor and you can see you can see that one side of the coil is connected to the axis. Therefore the electricity goes through the coil and the other side of the coil is here it's free however this side touches the magnet the polarity of the coil is such that there is a repulsion between the neodymium magnet and the electromagnet that is formed by the coil this repulsion pushes the axis in this direction and the motor rotates the inertia makes the rotor turn around and then makes contact again and receives another push. And this process continues in every turn. This is what makes the motor rotate. This is the rotor. It is made from wire that I took from paper clips. The axis is from a thicker clip like this and the rotor itself is made from another clip with thinner wire. This is the coil that produces the repulsion and this is just a counterweight. The rotor must rotate freely. I have put these little balls just to avoid the rotor from moving along the axis. The coil is made with 100 turns of wire, magnet wire. It is size 30 AWG. And it is wound on a plastic tube like this. You have to put some piece of wood or plastic in order to facilitate the winding and after you finish cut the tube insert the axis of the rotor and fix it with epoxy glue after I finish the motor I noticed that I made a little mistake and is the following. This material is magnetic and is attracted by the magnet. However, the repulsion force of the coil is stronger than this attraction and the motor still works. However, its speed is reduced by this effect of attraction. 
I will make an upgraded version where this problem is corrected and I will use two coils, one at each side.